welcome to our lecture series on fundamentals of game design and gameplay in this particular lecture will involve storytelling and narrative in terms of game design how to incorporate stories and narratives into games and before that we can present our services to some extent just etc.net software development and software development consulting services jobs dot just etc.net recruitment services mall dot just etc.org online shopping service computer dot just etc.net short notes and training videos on software development and IT university dot just etc.org online and offline training just etc hosting.com our hosting services okay welcome back to our lecture storytelling it's part of our daily life whenever we face an event just we attended a golf match or something similar we always try to narrate that to our friends so storytelling is a it's a daily experience sometimes games also include fictional fictitious stories in addition to the game and the game play game designers also include stories in games to keep the players interested in a long game and also to enhance the entertainment value of the game so this lecture will discuss topics uh, on incorporating stories into games will focus on story oriented games games that require a story or incorporating a story will improve the value of this story will not focus on the story that really do not need a story and we'll also discuss how to weave a story into a game how to incorporate a story into a game we'll examine what makes a good story also we will uh, see how to keep the story from overwhelming the gameplay actually in games gameplay is the first component history comes later you should not overwhelm the gameplay with story we also define what does it mean interactive story and interactive narrative how does interactive story differs from the traditional stories we will discuss linear and non-linear stories mechanism what are linear stories in terms of games and what are non-linear stories in terms of games linear single story non-linear a multiple story and the story can move in different direction based on the players actions we also discuss how to include scripted conversations in the game how the avatar character or the player character will engage in dialogues and conversations with non-player characters that's the aspect of scripted conversations also we'll discuss about the episodic storytelling think making games in episodes what are the different forms is it good or bad and also what about the market impact impact for such episodic storytelling or story episodic game making now why we put stories in games i think game designers game theorists game players always debated whether to include a story in games or not however some players want stories along with the gameplay and some games require one action adventure games role playing games and above all adventure games they require a story to keep the player involved with the game now will story improve a game it actually depends on the type of the game on the genre of the game and how good is the story and how you tell the story it can also depend on the player whether he in general enjoys a story or not and now 
here there are four reasons to have stories in games stories add significantly to the entertainment value of a game stories attract a wider audience stories help keep players interested in long games and stories also help to sell to market the game but how let's say in terms of entertainment value without a story a game is just a contest contest without emotion just the game is just an emotion sorry just abstract and it's kind of artificial but the story gives the game a context and it makes the feeling of pretending with the game player and also the story makes the game dramatically meaningful rather than having a an abstract goal the story uh, provides some dramatic mean, meaningness to the game stories attract a wider audience some players want a game along with their sorry want a story along with their games if there were no story they may not even buy the game i think this story attract those players i think using a story requires increases the development cost of the game but it also increases the size of the market and in long stories sorry in long games stories can keep the players interested in the game some simple games like tic tac toe or bujoel they don't need a story uh, but if it's a long story long game then maybe the story will provide some context for the players for them to be engaged and play the game for a long time and we see that the stories offer novelty uniqueness newness many times the gameplay can be the same or similar but if there is a different story players will enjoy the game and also buy the new game and a long game needs some variety a story a compelling story provides that variety now stories also help to sell the game but how i think it's really difficult to create some emotional content or marketing content from the gameplay of the of the game but if you have a story maybe you can use the different characters of this story to market those games and make some banners with the characters and with the with part of the stories and character design that's also an important part of storytelling now what is good storytelling uh, maybe you should read some books on creative writing in this lecture we'll just include how to incorporate stories into games not focus on uh, what what is good story telling i think there is not a single was single way to incorporate stories into game i think it will depend the type of game you choose to build that will de determine whether your game needs a story or not and how long and how rich that story should be it also depends on the type of game i think it will depend what kind of entertainment and experience you want to provide to the players and what kind of players you want to serve for example the game space invader it just involve one line of story the aliens have attacked your world and you are responsible to to save the game i think this story is enough for the game if you try to include more then it will interfere with the gameplay and it may destroy the game entertainment value
but for some games like Dreamfall and Discworld Noir, they incorporate stories like novels and the stories they provide half of the entertainment but you always should keep it